Hi everyone, so I am back again. Um, I am here to talk about something totally different now. So um, I'm gonna be talking about our Women of Culture Sisterhood of Discovery. Let me just pop that in the chat. Oops. Well, now you got a, um, a view of my cats eating, but here we go. So now you have the link that um, of the program I'm gonna be talking about. Um, and for those who don't know me, I'll just introduce myself again. I am Alex Harper. I am the founder of Women of Culture, which is an organization designed to connect, empower, and inspire women through meaningful engagement with the arts. And we've traditionally done that by doing a lot of in-person outings to galleries and museums and performance venues all over the city, um, also with the secondary mission of celebrating and showcasing the power of the arts and female artists in particular. So um, obviously when COVID hit and um, stay in place orders started, we had to shift a lot of our programming, well, all of our programming online. And it's also given me time to think about how I can best serve the community and what I envision and want to bring to this community. And I think despite the hardship and sadness and pain that has um, come about from this health crisis, there's also been um, a lot of time for re reflection, self-reflection and growth um, because we've had a bit more time to to be by ourselves and to um, take stock of our lives and also our communities and you know we're definitely seeing that with a lot of the social upheaval that's going on and I think it's a time where we really have opportunity if we're brave and courageous enough to um, to look at ourselves and to grow into um, also make sure the communities that we're a part of are growing as well and so that's part of my mission with launching this new program um, the sisterhood of discovery which is essentially an eight-week women's circle uh, all virtual on zoom we'll be meeting every monday from 7 to 9 p.m and um, it's really all about um, First of all, taking um, taking stock of where we are and um, taking a journey into self-discovery through art and community and really finding um, the camaraderie that we need to feel su supported in this time of, of change and of uncertainty. Um, I personally, obviously, am very passionate about community and I think that it is something that um, as someone who you know grew up in a very small town in Vermont with uh, divorce, the only child of divorced parents is like something that you know I've missed um, having a lot of times in my life, and that's part of the reason that I started Women of Culture um, because even in this city where usually you know we're surrounded by people all the time, it's it's also really hard to find the people that that are your tribe that really. Um, you know, even sometimes we have a lot of friends, but um, there's also a difference between between friends and, and what I call sisters, I think, um, are people that really can sort of be, um, be a reflection for you and hold you um, accountable and also, you know, celebrate the wins, but also be there for the losses and, um, and really um, push you push you forward which sometimes we as friends especially as women <laughs> we don't we don't always do that for each other um, we kind of sometimes get caught up in just you know um, being being nice and being um, you know but I think and I think that is important but also to really um, to take this time to create what we want in the world and you know to use kind of a cliche of really being the change that we want to see in the world because we can't create change if um, if we're misaligned with our own values and um, you know there's um, 
there's a bit even as as things start to open up and we can go back back you know to some things but um i think that even because of that it's it's even more of a call to really think about what do we want to go back to what is important to us um there you know a lot of heard from a lot of people that when the stay in place orders first started that they almost felt a sense of relief and you know were almost happy at having some of their obligations removed or um and i think this is really a moment i can relate to that and i think it's a moment that we can say like why why was that and why do we want to rush back to something that wasn't making us actually all that happy or that we were relieved to have a break from um and how do we create something better and i think that we really um one of the first things we all need to to do that is is support and um i think especially as women we're very much um you know emotional like communal people that we um more than uh, i mean i think men do as well but especially women do really seek out um and feed off of that kind of support and um and feedback from their peers and so the um the idea here is also you know really about um some people may have read there was a recent time magazine article talking about how they're really in addition to this pandemic there has been for a long time an epidemic of loneliness going on in this country and our individualistic society has really not served a lot of us and i think we're all feeling that right now um i think something around 60% of adult americans reports feeling some um sort of loneliness and that was before the pandemic before any of um the stay at home orders and you know since then about one third of um adult americans have reported increased sense of loneliness so um and you know the the statistics saying about um loneliness also now being compared to having the negative health effects of smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So, I mean, it just just from being isolated, we can be actually like physically um damaging our bodies and um so I think this is also um a time where we can really start to think about what communities that we want to be a part of and um create the kind of communities that we want. So, um This is, you know, a bit of a change from a lot of the programming that we have done in the past, but I think there um there's always been a bit of a a theme of self-discovery, curiosity, um self-care in all of our programming. Um I do think that the arts are, you know, experiencing that arts can be such an amazing way to brought in your mind brought in your perspective cultivate curiosity and that's something that I have always um tried to encourage uh, through all of our you know in person experiences and something that I really do believe um can be continue to to be cultivated online and um I think you know it, experiencing the arts can also help us see ourselves and discover new things about ourselves so um and also discover our own creativity which is just innate to all of us i think something that we sometimes shut down especially after childhood you know we're all born creative um you know this has been said many times but it's it's just so true and um i myself have you know often you know i danced and did a lot of art as a kid and then you know over time society tells you you're not good enough you have to do this you have to do that you have all these obligations and um and this program is also really about taking time for ourselves and for the hat um creativity it's happening tapping into our innate creativity to help us achieve all that we want to achieve in the world um and really um doing that while supported by other people and especially other women I think is is something that's very powerful and I can speak to having been a part of quite a few different women's groups women's circles that um literally transformed my life and um 
you know, I created the idea for women of culture as a result of work that I was doing um, through a women's circle and being, um, being in that environment of having that consistent um, engagement, challenge, um, accountability with other women was um, transformative for me and um, so that's what I am really excited one of the things I'm really excited to create through the sisterhood of discovery so um, as I mentioned it's an eight-week program it will be starting on Monday July 13th uh, we'll be meeting on zoom online for um, from 7 to 9 every Monday until through August 31st and be doing a lot of um, uh, sharing obviously and um, for starting out really taking some account of, of where we are and, and where we would like to be and um, digging a little bit deeper into that um, in order to create um, you know what what we want what we want and what, who we want to be um, looking at some of the past patterns that may be affecting us or negatively or not but um, and creating from there and using um, some of those so old stories and recreating them because um, when we tap into our creativity we have a chance to retell those stories retell those narratives for ourselves and um, use them as fuel to move forward so um, we'll also be doing a lot of movement really not you know I don't say dance because that's like has a lot of um, connotation and people are scared of dancing but um, just also moving things through our body and making sure that we are also um, physically letting go of whatever we need to let go of that may be physically <laughs> bogging us down um, as that often happens and in order to have the lightness and energy we need to move forward um, and then really also celebrating our womanhood and celebrating what it is to be a woman and how um, we want to create a new a new paradigm for for women and and working together to create that for each of us so um, it's it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be really fun and juicy and we're gonna dive deep and um, really you know sometimes push beyond our comfort zones but I think that is exactly what um, what we all need sometimes and I'm really excited to see what we might be able to create together um, I am really um, open to any questions that people might have if people want to reach out to me um, they can find obviously just direct message me through um, Instagram or Facebook or go to the website um, womanofculture.org and you can find my email address there. You can also go to womenofculture.org slash sisterhood of discovery to read all about the, the women's circle and um, everything that we'll be doing. And um, I'm also scheduling calls if you'd like to chat more individually to see if it might be right for you. Um, but I um, just want to say thank you for listening to me and really um, excited to to go on this journey um, and invite you to the sisterhood of discovery thank you